Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I don't really know how much I want to go into detail because so much has happened. I think I've been off YouTube for like six months now, so um, yeah, it's. I don't even know where to begin. It feels kind of weird filming again, too. So, pretty much what happened. Um, well, actually, a lot of good things happened. Um, as you can see, um, the background is different. I'm in a new location. Um, it's not the lavender room anymore or the camper. <coughs> My dog is distracting me. She keeps looking out the window. Um, so, I can't even remember exactly where I was at in life when I stopped making YouTube videos. I think... Um, I was doing college, um, kind of getting burnt out of college, obviously. I think, like, I was having sleeping problems and all kinds of crazy shit, um, happening. And then, after that, me and my husband, we kind of decided, like, we need to, like, get our own place and get out. Because we were staying with, first we were living in a camper, and that is a whole other story in and of itself. And then we, um, were living with family, and eventually we decided, we got our finances together, and we decided we decided we really needed to get our own place and if you guys are wondering like how like why are two married people like why don't you guys why didn't you have your own place well I'm just gonna back up <laughs> um so my husband was in the military he got out then I joined the military and then I got out and then we moved into the camper and then the camper was a disaster and then we moved in them with family. We did that for about two years, half in the camper, half with family. We were gonna just originally um, finish school and then get our own place, and then we didn't quite finish school. We still have a little bit left to do. My husband almost finished, though. He's pretty much done. Um, but um, we, um, So about, yeah, right after we did school and stuff, um, we started looking for houses, and that took forever. Um, that probably took like two, three months, maybe even more. God, I feel like we looked at houses forever. Um, we finally found a house that we liked, we bought it, and that's where you guys see me today. I'm in my own house. I'm super excited. This isn't the first time we've owned, like, we owned a trailer before we bought this house, which way before, like before I joined the Coast Guard. Um, so, but this is our first house, like legit house, and I'm super excited. Um, that's why I see boxes and everything's like all crazy. And I don't even, you probably saw dogs fucking run around the background too. But yeah, I'm super excited. And that's pretty much the main excuse for where I've been lately. Um, so, yeah, and plus, like, like, honestly, I feel like before I stopped making YouTube videos, I was getting really burnt out, and it wasn't just because of making YouTube videos, obviously, it was a bunch of other stuff. Like, I have insomnia, and my insomnia was super bad, for so it was, like, the worst it's ever been, and I just needed to take some time to, like, get my sleeping under control, and I'm on a really good schedule right now, I go to bed at, like, 10, I wake up at 5 o'clock, so... That's a whole lot better. Um, so yeah, I'm back, you guys. I'm really excited. Um, I'm gonna have a lot of time to make YouTube videos now because I pretty much work from home and I have a lot of free time, which is, it's like the first time in my life where I have a lot of free time. So that's another thing I'm kind of excited about. Um, so yeah, it's it definitely, it's kind of new, like, I feel like I haven't talked in front of a camera in so long, so I'm still trying to, like, get used to it again, but overall, I'm pretty excited. Um, so, I thought there's something else I wanted to tell you guys. Always fucking happens, always. I need to plan out what I'm going to say. But, um, oh yeah, I was going to show you guys. So, I have, like, three videos that were kind of in the works of me in film. It's art that I've done, like, many months ago that I just never got onto YouTube, so... I'm going to edit those videos, um, and then I'm going to put them, put them up. So they should actually go up pretty fast, probably within the next couple days. So I don't have 
so you guys aren't waiting like another couple weeks for a uh, art video from me. So, um, I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. I have, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do a house tour. I might do some decor stuff because I really like that. Um, there's my art desk. I'm going to paint this room too. I hate the color of this room. Um, and then I have some, most of my artwork over here. Here, I'll just, hang on. Let me just get up and show you guys some stuff. Okay. So, this one right here. She, I don't know if I could, there we go. She is going to be probably my next painting time lapse. Um, but, fuck it, it's just art boobs, who cares? Um, so, yeah, that's going to be the next one. That you guys will probably see. The next big one anyway. I'm, to be honest, I'm not... I lost motivation for this one. Because I don't like how I painted the face. The face probably looks funny, you guys. But I'm really in particular about faces. And I'm not super impressed with that face. <laughs> okay. Another thing. All my books. <laughs> I need to get a bookshelf. Like, we just moved in. Like, here's my boxes. <laughs> I'm not even fully unpacked yet. Um, so, this is my art desk. It's really dirty. <laughs> this is life. Um, I'm not an organized person when it comes to art stuff. Um, I'll just give you guys a little overview of the disaster. Okay, so, I'll just show you guys. This is probably the latest, this isn't time lapse. But this is the latest thing I've painted. I'm actually pretty excited. I'm going to paint another variation of this on YouTube soon. So my art's kind of changed a little bit. I feel like I've gotten a lot better painting wise. But I'm excited to do more stuff like this. Just a little quick, a quick acrylic painting study. Not, I mean, it's a study. I mean, it's not amazing. <laughs> um, this one right here is going to be time lapsed on YouTube. Um, it's acrylic and like Copic markers and all kinds of stuff. I don't love it, but it was an experiment for me. And I think I overworked the hair a little bit, but you know, people on Instagram really liked it though, so. Okay, and then this is just a random drawing that I did, nothing special. This is my um, past chalk pastels horse that I did a long time ago. I decided to throw it up here. It's a little acrylic painting that I did. This is actually a paint palette. I actually use aluminum foil to paint on because if you put it in the refrigerator, it keeps your paint cold and it keeps your acrylic paints from drying out. So my refrigerator normally has like a million paint palettes in it, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, so ignore these wonky faces I drew. I drew them when I was like half asleep. But this one over here, this is going to be probably one of my next painting things that I'm going to do. I really like how this came out. So I want to paint it. I think it's kind of interesting. Um, so yeah, she will be my next big painting. She might actually be done before this one because I lost so much motivation with this one. So we'll have, we'll have to see. It depends. I'm going to do a lot of, also, you guys, I'm going to do a sketchbook tour soon because the sketchbook is literally almost done. I have, like, this much left of it. And over the past couple months when I wasn't making YouTube videos, I was still making art. And I was going, look how much of my sketchbook I filled up. I was going crazy, just practicing drawing and studies and stuff. So I feel like I've grown um, so much as an artist. So, yeah, I'm excited about that. I got some interesting stuff in there. So I'm excited to show you guys that stuff. Um, this thing is just storing all my art supplies. I will, um, uh, I'm not going to go into super detailed stuff just yet because I haven't had any, like, stuff isn't organized how I'd like it to be organized, so I still got a lot of work to do. <laughs> but I'll give you just a quick little overview of all this bullshit, so. Um, I got some paint in there. I got more paint on my paint and in this drawer I got watercolor 
I'm a gag. Pencils, colored pencils, a million pencils. Um, I think I gotta figure out what I did with my markers. I think my markers actually might be in that thing. I gotta look. I, I don't even know where all my stuff is. This move has had me. Oh, wait, here's my Copics and stuff. Some Copic markers, just other random markers. Um, I got this thingy. These little brush water pens. I'm not a big fan of watercolors. I don't. I think it's just because I don't know how to use them. Every time I've tried to paint in watercolors, I just don't like it. And just some extra, extra paint brushes and stuff. Um. Oh, this is just paper. Paper. Um. Some colored canvases. Little canvases. Um. I got my chalk pastels. I've had this forever. Pastels are actually one of the first things I used as an artist. Um, but I just didn't, they didn't stick, but I don't hate them. Um, incense, uh, lint foil, I use a lot of that stuff. And, um, charcoal pencils. I think I even have some, uh, china markers in here too. And I don't even know what's down here. This is just bullshit, and I think I just have extra, like, art that I finished or need to hang up or just have a lot of stuff in here I didn't finish. I think I even have some paintings and stuff. Um, some little paint or little art kits, incense burner. I burn a lot of incense and candles. Um, everything under here is kind of a mess. It's just more art kits and sketchbooks. I have just random sketchbooks in there. Um, I got some canvases, um, a little portfolio, um, sketchbook, a bunch of notebooks because I'm constantly writing. As you guys know, I'm writing a book and I also take a lot of notes for art and stuff. And then this thing back here, I had opened up an Etsy shop. I didn't leave it open for very long because it wasn't um, doing too great. So I'm going to open it again. I just kind of want to take a break from it. Um, but yeah, this stuff was for sale. Some like little pinup girl things. They're gonna go back for sale soon, but I kind of just want to. This one was for sale. They're sell for kind of cheap. Um, but I'm gonna open it up again soon. I think. I know I wasn't like advertising my shop very much, so. <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of people didn't even know I had a shop. Um, but yeah, guys. Um. I'm sorry if I sound kind of sick, too. Me and my husband, like, once we moved in here, like, our sinuses were so bad. And the weather has been so freaking weird. Like, it's been hot and cold. And, like, I don't know. It's definitely abnormal for where I live. Like, it's been so back and forth. So, that's why I sound kind of sick. <laughs> and also... Oh, wait. I wanted to tell you guys one more... Kind of so much stuff. So much, you guys. I swear. Hang on one second. So I was the cartoonist for my um my little newspaper for my campus of where I was going to college at, and I'll show you the little cartoons that I did. I don't want to show too much. I'll just do up close. But I did a cartoon for I did Brett Kavanaugh, and I forgot this chick's name actually. I didn't really didn't pay too much attention to this. But someone did a story about the Kavanaugh um, thing, and I had to draw. What was her name? God, I feel terrible. I feel like this is kind of a um, high-profile case. Um, what? Let me see if I can find in this story. Wasn't it something Ford? <laughs> oh, God. Don't hate me, you guys. This happened so long ago, I don't remember. I did a couple more. Um, this is just an example. I did a bunch more. I think I got like 30 bucks a cartoon, which isn't great, but yeah, whoa. I mean, it's not great, but I think I made like 400 bucks for just drawing little cartoons. Um, I used some Copic markers for those. Um, oh yeah. So... I wanted to make another YouTube channel. I kind of wanted to go like super basic bitch and make like a makeup channel, which 
might interest some of you. Um, I don't really know if my male view my male viewers are really care will really care that much, but I don't know. Maybe if you want to see how much women deceive men with makeup or something. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna make it a, a full makeup channel. I'm gonna do like fitness and like cooking and stuff like that on it. Um, as you guys know, me and my husband are really into weightlifting. Um, he bench presses like over 400 pounds, so. We've been doing it for a while, like we're older people, we're not super old, but we're definitely not young, and um, I lost my train of thought, <coughs> and um, that's pretty much why he bench presses so much, he's been, he's been doing it for years, um, so, and I'm kind of wanting to get him on this channel more, like, I don't know, I just think it'd be fun, um, so, yeah. What have you guys been up to? Leave me comments down below. I'm actually, I'm, I kind of did the thing that you shouldn't do on YouTube, which is not make videos for a long period of time. And I feel like that's, I, I'm really curious to see how many people will watch this video and still follow me. Cause I did drop off the face of the earth and I kind of regret it, but I, it really needed to happen. Like there's just so much going on. Um, with just living situations, like moving from place to place and just, Having a not steady income, we had a steady income, what am I saying? Having like a not steady living place and um, yeah, it was just a lot of stuff we had to figure out. Um, so yeah, definitely, I'm, I'm definitely excited to have our own place again. It's super nice. I forgot how nice it was. Um, I think it's been like two years since I've had my own place. So I am very happy. Um, what else? I think that's it. I'm really sorry for not being on YouTube and um, hopefully some of you are still with me. I'm gonna, I'm, I, like I said, have so much free time and I can definitely like um, make a lot more content and make a lot more YouTube videos and I wanna start a second channel that's gonna be like makeup and random vlog stuff and workout stuff so I'm excited for that so you guys I'm back and I'm very I have I'm blah, I'm back and I'm very excited to see what the future holds for this YouTube channel so stay with me bye oh also you guys I just wanted to add on my second channel that I said it's gonna be a makeup channel it's probably gonna be more like a catch-all bullshit channel where I'm probably gonna post makeup videos and workout stuff but I figured out Streamlabs and I made a Twitch account and I also want to put like video game bullshit. Like I play a lot of Age of Empires so I'm gonna um, do Twitch and put it on YouTube as well. So you can watch me play video games. I know nobody really probably gives a fuck but I just wanted to say that. Okay, now I'm gone. Bye. <laughs>